There's been a hatchery here for many years. Uh, egg take dates back as, as late as the 1890s. Uh, over time, there's actually been three different hatcheries here. It's been a presence here for a long time. Well, the first thing that we do uh, each day is we'll go through the, uh, the fourth day crib. These are the fish that we, the females that we've had for four days. Um, the ones that are uh, ready to spawn, we'll put in a tub, take them up to the stripping table. The ones that aren't, we just release. We, they'll go back in the river. We figure we've had them for four days already, so uh, that's long enough. They get beat up a little bit in the nets, so we just don't want to hold them any longer than that. We're just crowding up uh, females. These are females we put in this crib yesterday that the, these weren't right yet, so. We're going to run these up and crowd them up and then sort them again and check them if they're right. We do it every year. It really varies from, from year to year. Last year it took us 21 lifts in order to get our quota, which is usually about a thousand quarts of eggs. Uh, this year we're going to be done in probably six or seven lifts, just because it's so late that uh, once things finally started to open up, the, the fish were ready. Well, this is the latest start we got at Pike River here at this egg take, you know, in history. and. So we have the latest start, but it's uh, been a very fast run. We'll usually take about 100 million eggs here, and uh, a lot of those uh, will go to, some of those will go to other hatcheries, and then we'll hatch the fry here. Some of those fry go to other lakes in the area, and I think we're stocking 11.6 uh, million in vermilion this year. We stock those back to kind of mitigate the eggs that go to other areas.